uh, again, as you said, he's not brought us and did not tonight say that, that uh, he was proposing Medicaid expansion. Uh, if he brings uh, that to us, then uh, I, I think my position has been clear on that. I think the position of the Senate is clear. Obviously, uh, Speaker Moore will have to speak for himself, but based on what he said in the past, uh, it sounds like it's not something that he would be supportive of either. Uh, on the issue of uh, Medicaid reform, which he did spend some, uh, some time on, uh, we've got members who are talking about that. I'm hopeful that we'll be uh, able to make progress and hopeful that uh, this time, as the governor said, we'll, uh, we'll run it in from the one-yard line as opposed to trying to, uh, to make the path. No, I was, uh, I was glad to hear him talk about the progress that we've made in North Carolina over the past four years and over the past two years. Uh, I think that's a story that uh, a lot of people in North Carolina uh, have heard. Uh, I think it's something, it's a story that bears repeating. And the fact that we've uh, paid down and almost paid off completely uh, that uh, unemployment insurance uh, debt to the federal government, the fact that uh, we are looking at uh, a, a tax system in North Carolina now that's competitive with our neighbors, the fact that uh, we've had four consecutive balanced budgets and uh, we will have another balanced budget this year, I mean, those are good things. And really, uh, the, uh, the unemployment uh, situation in North Carolina, as far as the rate is concerned, is a story that definitely uh, needs to be told and retold. We've gone from fifth highest in the nation to where we are actually below the national average in unemployment. As he said, and I agree, we've got work to do, but, uh, but those accomplishments are something that, uh, that, that, that tell us we're on the right track. You, and you all have generally been in favor of slimming down government, lightening the load. He talked about creating two new cabinet-level agencies tonight. Uh, have you at all talked to him about that, and what do you make of those proposals? I have not talked to him about it. Uh, obviously, we need to do as much as we can for our veterans, and uh, if, in fact, we can more efficiently serve our veterans and provide them with, uh, with the things that, that they need from state government by creating a new agency, by taking uh, some of the things that we're doing in other places and making it more efficient, uh, I, I think that's something that could be favorable to receive. I, I don't know that I'm prepared to say that anything is a non-starter. I, I am uh, obviously we've, we've got folks that are concerned about uh, the level of spending. We have folks that are concerned uh, about uh, things like restarting tax credits that have uh, that have expired. So I, I think uh, we, we'll have good discussions about uh, all sorts of proposals, and uh, we'll, we'll see what the majority within the, uh, the Senate and the House uh, are willing to uh, to move forward. He said he, you, you said that he, you needed more specificity about the bond issue, the second bond issue. But what do you think about the numbers, the bottom line numbers? That's over $2 billion in bonds. Is that more than you think we could buy it off? That's more than, uh, than we've been talking about and more than we had heard uh, talked about uh, up till now. Uh, I think one of the, uh, the encouraging things is the, uh, the Treasurer uh, has uh, for years uh, had the debt affordability study. Uh, in, uh, in connection with that, uh, she uh, says we have the capacity to do that. Would there be questions about uh, what's the repayment uh, on the bonds? How quickly would they, uh, would they be issued? Uh, what, uh, what sort of capacity do we have in terms of uh, the construction industry in North Carolina uh, to, uh, to, to assume uh, that, uh, that amount of construction without inflating the cost of construction? So there are a lot of issues we'll have to deal with. Uh, there, there, there clearly are great needs in North Carolina. It's just a question of whether or not uh, we, we have uh, uh, the support to go forward with, uh, uh, with a particular program. Could you imagine taking on this? bonds without a vote of the people doing it as cops rather than geo debt? I, I don't see us uh, moving forward with uh, certificates of participation. I think if we are interested in incurring that level of debt uh, in North Carolina, that uh, the people uh, should, uh, should have a vote. I will tell you that I think everybody understands that we have a problem in, with information technology. I mean, you folks have written all sorts of stories about how state government has uh, has really not done a very good job in, uh, in in not just letting the contracts, writing the contracts, but supervising the contracts. So uh, I, I think the the amount of money that we can save will probably be greater than uh, than the amount of money that, uh, that that would be spent if we do it right. And that's the real challenge because I don't know that we've done it right in North Carolina on information technology up to this point. Okay. How, how, do, how do we start on that? I mean, well, we've we've got members uh, in uh, in both the House and the Senate who are interested in that issue. I, I think they will uh, they'll start digging into it and, and start working on it. 